Here we have an old Mayer uh, two kilowatt inverter. You can see this is a two kilowatt inverter by the uh, big two here. It tells us the uh, size of the inverter. Now, this inverter, as you can see on the screen here, the AC power being produced and is zero watts right now. The, what it's done today is zero kilowatt hours. So it's produced nothing at all today. And uh, I've seen, unfortunately, quite a few of these old Mayer inverters which start having issues and uh, just not producing any power at all. Now, this is an issue with these Olmeyer inverters that they it actually comes up occasionally with an error AFI, which um, yeah these inverters seem to get. And unfortunately, the Olmeyer company isn't around anymore to back up their warranties. And I think it was Eco Kinetics was the company who actually installed them around Australia. So unfortunately, if you're uh, old Mayer inverter is coming up with this this issue where it's just producing zero power and a couple of things you want to check and that's just that it is getting solar power to the inverter which to do that we just um, we can just uh, what do we do we squeeze press the cross arrow and we can go down the solar panel and that gives us some information about the solar panels there so you can see the the DC voltage that the inverter is detecting from the solar panels is 373 volts 372 volts, but the, the current it's working at is, uh, is nothing. So it's definitely seen the solar panels there, so there's not a problem with an open circuit on the solar panel side. Um, and we can also check the, the, the main data, we go back to this menu, and just check that it is actually getting power to it, so you can see from the grid. So you can see the AC voltage is 243 volts, but once again, there's no, uh, no current and it's a 50 hertz uh, frequency so um, that's all all correct it should be operational uh, you can see it's actually come up on the screen there error AFI so unfortunately if your old main inverter is coming up with this error AFI it is going to be a replacement job unfortunately so uh, you, 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 you can try rebooting the system see if that changes anything very rarely I see it actually does that. If you did want to try that, it's always important that you follow the shutdown procedure, which is you turn off the solar supply main switch or the inverter AC isolator. The solar supply main switch is always located in your switchboard. The AC isolator, if it's applicable, if it's present, will be beside the inverter like this one here. So you turn that one off first, then you turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter. As I said, in my experience, I've never seen one which is actually recovered. Um, and yeah, it was supposed to have an eight year warranty in the first place, but the manufacturer's not around and not a, so there's not much we can do other than recommend you replace them and get your, your system back in action, bite the bullet and get it sorted out. So look, uh, I hope that's been helpful. If you've got an old Mayer inverter coming up, well, with zero uh, power being produced, and it, like I said, it, it comes up with that error AFI uh, message just occasionally on the screen it's very hard to actually catch what you'll usually see is just uh, that it's not doing anything so I just go back to that main reading so yeah the, the watts per day it's produced produce nothing at all so look um, if you need some help get in contact with us and we'll be able to uh, get your system back in action as soon as possible thanks very much